scanner. So the harmonic scanner, guys, is um, pretty much one of the, the, the first tools on this platform. Um, and this tool is literally 90% accurate. And what I'm gonna apply on the harmonic scanner today will be the Fibonacci tool. And this Fibonacci tool, um, with the Fibonacci and the harmonic scanner, this was actually um, brought up by Brittany Burrell. Brittany Burrell made six figures on a harmonic scanner, if, if you guys didn't know, um, using this FIBS for life strategy. So this is a harmonic scanner that we're looking at, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the FIBS for life strategy. Now, with the harmonic scanner already being 90% accurate, what the, the Fibonacci tool does is it, give you, it gives you a better entry and it gives you a better take profit. Therefore, you don't have a lot of pullback and drawbacks, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to, uh, to the harmonic scanner. Um, and I'm gonna explain everything, literally, I'm gonna break everything down. But I hope you guys have your notebooks ready because there's some things that I want you to write down, some notes that I want you to write down before I actually start going in and applying the Fibonacci on um, the harmonic scanner. So if you guys can see and hear everything clearly, go ahead and drop the number one in the chat box. Let me just make sure everybody's good first. Awesome. All right. So. What we're looking at here is a harmonic pattern. This is a harmonic scanner. This, this, this is one of our copy and paste. I'm sorry, copy paste, copy paste and profit uh, products, right? As you can see, it has a stop loss, it has an entry, and it has three take profit levels, right? It has three take profit levels, right? So what we're looking at here with the harmonic, it has four points. It has an A, B, C, and D, include, and then also has an X, right? But what we're going to be paying attention to mainly, guys, would be the C and the D. That's pretty much going to start where we're going to be where we're going to be taking entry um, and taking profit, um, setting our entry and taking profit from the C and the D. Okay, so I want you guys to write this down. When when the the market or when this particular pair is going for a buy, you're going to draw the Fibonacci tool from the top to the bottom. You're gonna draw from the top to the bottom, which means you're drawing it from the letter C to the letter D. Yep, when it's, uh, when it's going for um, a buy. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. All right, so for example, if it was going for a buy, you, you would draw it from um, the C to the D. I'm sorry, from the top to the bottom, which will be, <laughs> sorry, from top to the bottom, which, which will be the D down, right? if it was in a buy, okay? Vice versa, if it's in a sale, you're gonna draw it from, you're gonna draw the Fibonacci tool from the bottom to the top, in which we're looking at a sale right now, so from the C to the D, okay? From the C to the D. And all your tools look just like trading view. So the Fibonacci is gonna be three. Reach your lines, please. I, I wanted to ask a question, Shari, really quick. You said from the top to the bottom, from the C to the D, I'm sorry, for a buy and the C to the D for a sale? Yeah, so vice versa, and I do apologize. Um, so this is what we're looking at right now, then that this is a sale, right? So the C is at the bottom. So we're going to draw from the C to the D. So we're literally in a sale, we're going to draw it from the bottom to all the way to the top. So we're going to take that Fibonacci tool. We're gonna start it at the point of that C on the on the harmonic pattern, draw it up to the D and drop it. Now, vice versa, if this was a buy, right? That C would be up top. That C would have been up top and the D would have been at the bottom. So you would have took it from the C here to the D at the bottom and dropped it. Okay, got it. Okay. okay. Um, but right now we're looking at, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and, and click on a pair that I was just looking at, which was uh, GU, where is it? GU. So I actually marked up GU, but I, I just wanna give you guys some key tips first and then we're gonna go into detail, right? But GU is in a sale, right? So what I did before I hopped in the sale I took it from the bottom to the top. I took the Fibonacci tool from up here to up here and dropped it. Now, you guys have to learn how to oh, maneuver this. Just 
I'm sorry. Can someone hear me? Yeah. Can you can you, can you hear me, Shari? Um. Yes. Who who am I talking? Who is this? Let me see. Who am I talking to? Hey, is this Isis? Oh, hey. Hello. Okay. So when it comes to the Fibonacci tool, the way you place it, either bottom to top or top to bottom, it depends on what other tools you're using. Mm, no. So it just really depends on what trend it is. If it's in a, a buying trend or a selling trend. So um, I want you to draw this. When the, when the pair is buying, right? When your take profit levels are at the top, when it's in a buying trend, you're gonna draw the Fibonacci tool. That, that C is gonna be flipped around. Where the C is, is gonna be flipped to the top. And that D is gonna be at the bottom. So you would literally draw okay, whatever. Could, hmm? Yesterday, when um, I hopped on the zone with Dre, he was saying, okay, wait, let me make sure I'm, I'm getting this correct. Cause he was saying like, if we were doing head and shoulders, that would be going for a sale. So this and is not gonna, yeah. So this is not head and shoulders. This is a totally different strategy. Um, so. Exactly. I I, I know that, but I'm just trying to grasp with the Fibonacci. Like you're saying, it's like, because I'm, I'm hearing different things. At one point, I'm hearing you take the Fibonacci in the direction of the trend. But then it was saying, like, but now, like, what you're saying of how we use this Fibonacci is going against what Dre told us yesterday with how to use the Fibonacci. Okay, so it might sound like, it may seem like it's going against it because it's a totally different strategy. So just, just okay, give me a moment. Just, just give me a moment to go through it. And then if it's still not making sense to you, Isis, um, definitely let me know. But the thing is with the Fibonacci tool, you can use it on a lot of different strategies. Um, this one being one that I've had success with using the Fibonacci tool. So it may seem different because he's applying it in a different way. Okay, so, um, all right, so now, we have the Fibonacci tool. Again, if it's in the buy, you're gonna draw from the top to the bottom, meaning you're gonna draw from the C to the D. That C would have been at the top and the D would be at the bottom. Right now we're in the sale, right? So you're gonna draw this from the C to the D, meaning you're gonna draw from the bottom to the top, right? Because it's going in the sale. So just like when we're looking at any other time we draw the Fibonacci tool on, let me just flip it to the right so you guys can see it, right? That take profit is your, that 168, right? The numbers going down are your take profit, right? So the, the 168 is at the bottom, right? Now we're not gonna look at that 168 right now, but I'm just letting you know it. As, as you call, guys can recall it, using the engulfing and using um, the Fibonacci on the head and shoulders, your numbers, your take profit numbers are going towards the bottom. This is how you know that you've applied this, the, the Fibonacci tool correctly. It's in a sale, so you're going to draw it from the bottom to the top. Therefore, your take profit numbers will be going down, and the zero is going to be at the top. Vice versa, if this was in a buy, your zero would have been at the bottom, and your take profit numbers would have been at the top. That's how you know you you drawn a Fibonacci tool on right. But if you literally draw it in the direction that I gave you for a buy from top to bottom, for a sale bottom to top, you you, you pretty much got it. All right now. Here, what, how you find the different pairs, these are your, your brokers, right? Now, most of you might have Hugo's Way. You don't have to use Hugo's Way. You can click through any of these brokers to find a clean scan, right? You wanna fly, find a clean scan. So when I entered in, I'm, I, I'm actually sitting in GU right now from the scanner. But when I entered in, I clicked on this uh, broker right here, right? And I clicked on GBP USD, right? And I'm entering in on the hour. You can enter in on the 15 minute, the 30 minute, the hour, the four hour, the day, but I'm entering in on the hour. The hour seems to work for me on the harmonic scanner. So I'm, I'm, I'm selecting the H1, okay? I'm selecting the H1. Now looking at the Fibonacci tool, looking at the Fibonacci tool, I want you guys to write this down because there are gonna be um, four main fib key levels that you get, that you guys need to pay attention to, right? So the 23, as you can see right here, the 23, that's your entry. The 38, that's your take profit one. The 61, 
that should take profit too. And the 78 is, is take profit three. I'm sorry, I'm trying to answer you again. What's 61? The one under the 50? Yep. Uh, let me stretch okay. it out. I can barely see it. Now. 61 is your take profit two. So the 23 is your is your entry. The 38 is your take profit one. 61 is your take profit two. And 78 is your take profit three. All right, so we have three take profits on here. And these, so we're not gonna pay attention to what they have on a harmonic scanner already. I'm throwing on a Fib, Fibonacci. This is a Fib for Life strategy. Again, it gives you a more accurate entry and it gives you a more accurate take profit. And it helps you get to your take profit faster as well. So you're not going through all of these drawbacks and, and, and pullbacks and so forth, right? And does anyone need me to say those levels again? I have a question. Okay. So basically from, from what I got so far is when you open up this tool on whatever pair or like whatever signal they call out, you open up this tool, the um, harmonic scanner, and then you um, place your Fibonacci based off if they say it's a buy or sell idea, right? Yep. So I'm, I'm gonna um yep I'm gonna go through it again, but correct. You're gonna place it. So if it's in a sale, which this is in a sale, you're gonna draw it from the bottom to top. So I right. literally took this Fibonacci tool. I started here at the point of this C on the harmonic pattern. And I drew drew it up and pulled it to the D. When I got to the point of the D, I dropped it. And these numbers automatically fell in place on the Fibonacci. And these are the numbers we're gonna place in our um MetaTrader? Correct. Yep. So I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna yep, gonna get to that in a second too. But these are the numbers you're placing. So you're not gonna place these numbers, not not from the original scanner. You're gonna place the numbers from the Fibonacci tool. Now, what I do take from the Fibonacci, from the harmonic scanner is a stop loss, right? I do take the stop loss. Now, usually on my trades, I set a 30 pip stop loss. But what I noticed is that with this being a 90% accurate tool, um, in most cases, it never really goes back up here to entry or really to stop loss either. So I go ahead and set the stop loss. Now, I did something last night. I was in RUSD. It went in the direction I needed to go in. But I, I, I played by my own rules and I set a tighter stop loss and it whipped me out. So what I do recommend is setting a 40 to 50 pip stop loss, right? And they automatically get, are going to give you about a, a 50 um, pip stop loss right here. So what I usually do, I just go ahead and plug in their stop loss. Just make sure you're using proper risk management. If you only have $100 in your account, make sure you're using a 0 0.01 and not a 0.10. Right, so um, I just go ahead and use the stop loss that they have, but all of my other numbers, like my entry, are going to be straight from the Fibonacci. 23 is my entry, 38 is my TP1, 61 is my TP2, and the 78 is my TP3. Okay, um, let's see. All right, so now you guys have that. Give me one second. So now I want to show you, I want you guys to go to your phones, go to MetaTrader, go to your demo account. Now this one is already moving, so I don't want you to put it in your real account. I already have this, um, it's already in profit, so it's kind of too late to hop in. Um, but let me go to a demo account really quickly so we can follow along. All right, so go ahead and grab GBP USD on MetaTrader. Let me know when you guys get there. Click on GBP USD, click on trade. Put in your demo. If you're there, drop the number three. Yeah, DG, I'm gonna go back and, and let you see the um the settings. I want to run through everything really quick, step by step. 
and then go back over it, the whole thing, step by step, so you guys can see the full thing. All right, Jeanette, Misha, Katrina. Uh, just a minute, Jeanette. I want to just make sure everybody get it pulled up. Everybody good? Jamila. All right. If you need help, some help, unmute yourself real quick and say you need help getting there. All right. <clears throat> so I assume everyone is there. Okay, so we're looking at GBP, USD, and MetaTrader. This is how you're going to take these numbers from the harmonic scanner and put them into your MetaTrader. Now you're going to place it as an order. If this has not activated, you're going to place it as an order. Always. Right. So um, under GBP USD, you're probably looking at market execution. Right. So this is in a sale. So we want to set a sale, a sale stop. With the harmonic scanner, FIBS for live strategy, we're only using sale stops and buy stops. Sale stops and buy stops. All right, someone unmute yourself. With this pair that we're looking at GU, are we using a, a buy stop or sale stop? Sale. <laughs> Correct, sale stop, All right? So you're gonna click on sale stop. Right below that, those numbers running across, you all know that's your lot size. You wanna adjust, adjust your proper lot size based on what's in your account. Again, if you're at 100.01, around 200.02 and so forth, All right? Right below that, now you see price. Now you usually don't see price because you go straight in market execution, but right now we're setting an order, which means that it has not gotten to its entry yet. So price would be our entry. So someone unmute yourself, tell me what goes in that price box, what number, based on what's on my screen, what number is going to go in that price section? Um, 1.32592. Correct. Correct. So that 0.23 again is your entry. So that's what you will put in for price. All right. Now, what's going to be the next section is our stop loss. What are we putting in for stop loss, guys? Hey, Shari, we're putting in the 1.3314528 from the right. scanner. That's correct. That's correct. All right. Now, going to the take profit. Now, usually what I do with the harmonic scanner, this is, this is what I do. I go for take profit one because on the scanner, if you look, if, and I'll flip through them, most of them are going to get to TP1, right? Most of them are going to get to TP1. So what I'll do is I'll twin trade TP1. I'll go in. I'll, I'll set my TP1 and I'll put it in twice. Therefore, I'm making my pips twice, right? Instead of um, waiting for it to get to TP2 or TP3. Now, I'll be honest with you. The harmonic scan is 90% accurate. I'm going to flip through and show you guys. Most of them are going to hit TP2 and TP3 as well. But just for me, so I'm not sending trades all day long. I go for TP1 and I twin trade it. I put it in twice. All right, so if we're gonna go for TP1, somebody unmute yourself and tell me what number are you putting in that take profit box? Let me stretch it out so you can see it. That um, 1.32472. Correct, correct. Someone tell me if I decided I wanted to do TP2, if I wanted to go for take profit two, what number am I plugging in? That would be the 1.32279. Excellent, Misha. And someone else tell me if I wanted to, to put in my TP3, if I wanted to take it all the way to TP3, what number am I plugging in? MetaTrader. The uh, 31965. Um, or is it the 1.32141? 1 .1? Correct, correct. Because again, we have our 23 as our entry. 38 is our take profit one. The oh, okay. 60, yep, 61 is our take profit two. And the 78 is our take profit three. Right, and as you guys can see, look, if you can see these key levels are right above what they're showing on the, on the scanner. 
So it's getting you to your, your take profit faster, right? This is, this is one of those earn while you learn tools. The harmonic scan is one of those earn while you learn tools. And to be honest with you, um, I place trades on the two in, in between us looking at GJ and EU. I'm placing trades on this as well because I'm doing my markups, right? I'm doing my markups even before doing my markups, right? Um, I trust the scanner because it's 90% accurate, right? But I just want to go back and show you guys the full analysis from the very beginning on how or why I was confident in taking this GU trade, okay? So first thing first, even though we're copy and pasting, guys, we still want to go back and make sure we have our checklist. We still want to make sure we have our checklist. So first place is Forex Factory. So if you go into the harmonic scanner and you see, oh, GU is a clean trade, a, a, a clean scan, right? First thing first I did was I went to Forex Factory. Let me see if there's any news on uh, the Great British Pound or any news on USD. It's good. We got yellow folders on GBP. We got a yellow folder on USD from this morning. No other news on it. So that lets me know that it's going to be moving in a consistent flow, right? The market, that, that particular pair is going to be moving consistently the way it needs to move as long as it follows my markup, right? Um, then what I did, guys, I came to TradingView. I came to TradingView and I did my markup. I did a really quick markup, right? So um, I saw that it was trending up. I looked at it on the day. Uh-oh. Hold on one second. Let me get it so you guys can see it. All right, so I looked at it on the day. I said, hey, okay, it's on the uptrend on the day overall. Okay, mark that. I didn't stop there. I went to my four hour. It's still trending up, right? But I see... I see some uh, a, a, a drawdown right here, guys. I see that's drawing down. So I say, okay, let me check my hour. Let me check my hour. It's still, it's, even though it's pulling up, right? It's still gonna be some type of drawdown, right? I see that. I see that. And I'm gonna see it, if it's either gonna break up top or break on the bottom. But also what I did, I went back to our trend rules, right? So the three to four touch rule, right? So here, one, here's my second touch. And then I know I gotta come down to three. Now I'm not necessarily taking it down this far, but I see that this is in a drawdown right now. It's pulling back. It's pulling back and then more than likely it's gonna have to touch down here. So guess what? Because I know it has to come down, I'm gonna trust the harmonic scanner. The harmonic scanner said it's selling, and I'm only taking it right here. I'm only taking it here. So when harmonic scanner said it's going to come and bust through here, I'm trusting it. Because, again, this is 90% accurate, and then I put the fibs for life on top of it. Therefore, I don't have to sit and wait on it all day long. Now, even if I do, okay, I, I said it, and I forgot about it. But I did, I did my job. I did my analysis. I looked at the news, and I did a very quick markup along with this confirmation on this 90% accurate tool. All right, so I did my checklist. I checked the news, I checked the trend, right? I came here. Now, another thing I wanna point out to you guys, how you know it's a clean scan. Let me try to see if I can find another one that's a clean scan right now. You wanna find it when those candles are close to that to the high point or the low point, whichever way it's going. Let's see if they have any clean scans. GU might've been a clean scan for this hour. Um, I caught that like right in, in the nick of time. Uh, let's see, give me a second. See if I can find some clean. Um, sorry, there's a question in the um, chat oh, box yeah. there. Do we include the wick in our markup when we set in the fib? So you're really not gonna draw it from the, the the candles. I'm literally just drawing it from the point of the um, C on the harmonic pattern to the D on the harmonic pattern, right? So 
give me one second. Um, give me one second, Danette. I'm gonna draw it up for you again. Let me see if I can find a, a clean scan for you guys to enter. If not, we're just gonna analyze GU. Mm. Give me one second, let me see on the field what it looks like. Okay, now looking at this RJPY, let's see. RJPY technically is a clean scan because it has not reached the entry. Right now, if I would have entered in and this these um the candlesticks would have been up here past here, I wouldn't enter this um buy stop. But because it's still down here, the market is just starting. And this um this trade has not been activated. Uh, JPY technically will be uh, will be a clean scan. Okay, now if we're looking at something like this, right? We already hit TP3. So it's not a clean scan. You can see entry was here. The move is already up here. So something like this, you don't want to enter. Right? But RJPY, that will be something good. That will be something clean to enter. That will be something clean to enter. Um, let's take a look at a couple others. This is already uh, moving. USDJPY has already made its move. But you guys can see, going back to the first thing that I said, the harmonic scanner is 90% accurate. So look, it's already at TP2 and probably more than likely gonna drop down to that TP3. Look, it's already at TP2. I'm just flipping through so you guys can see, so you can see um, how accurate the tool is. All right, so RJPY is a clean scan, guys. I mean, I'm looking at it on a different broker. It's a clean scan. So coming back here. So let me draw it up for you guys from the beginning. So just let me just do a recap. Again, the first thing that you want to do when you go to the harmonic scan and you're flipping through to find a clean scan, after you find a clean scan, um, guys, you want to go to your news, go to Forex Factory, check those two currencies within that pair, make sure the news is good. If you got yellow folders, you're good. Or if you have no news, it's good. If you got a red folder, I stay away from it. I flip to another pair. But here we did our job. GBP, USD, no bad news on GBP, USD. So we good to go, right? Now we did that, right? Let's go to, let's go to trading view. Let's do a quick analysis on trading view. You can actually do it on, on a harmonic pattern too, on a harmonic scanner. Me personally, I go to trading view so it's clear for me to see, right? So you can go to trading view real quick, mark your trend lines, see where it's going, right? We're looking at the, the touches on the trend. If, we, if we're doing, if we're looking at the touches on the trend, it has to come back down for a third touch. That's another confirmation alongside with this 90% accurate tool that is gonna sell. All right, so we did that, right? Now we know it's selling. We, know, we see our entry is up top and our take profit is at the bottom, which means that it is going in a, it's in a sale trend for this moment, for this hour, right? So once we analyze that, right, we want to go ahead and take our Fibonacci tool, which is three icons down, one, two, three, right? It's usually going to be a pitchfork here. You just want to click on that arrow and grab your Fib retracement. Right now, because it is in a sale trend, we're going to draw our Fibonacci tool from the bottom, started at the, the, the tip of the C on a, a harmonic pattern, drag it up to the tip of the D, drop that, lock it. All right, so did you want to see my um, settings real quick? So all I do is right click on that Fibonacci, right click, click on settings. Here are my settings. To be honest with you, I can uncheck this uh one point, this all of this at the bottom because I don't use it. But these are my settings. Let me know when you get a snap uh snap of it, DG. Okay. All right, so come here. I flipped it to the right so it's visible. 
right? Click OK. All right, now I got my FIB key levels. Now I got my FIB key levels, right? So before I enter, I want to uh, put my Fibonacci on. So now looking at this, I know I'm not entering here. Now I'm entering at the point 23. Right, I know I'm entering at the point 23. I know my TP1 is not this. I know my TP1 is point 38. I know my TP2 is not this right here. My TP2 is actually this point 0.61. And my TP3 is, is not here. My TP3 is 0.78. Whichever one I choose to put in my MetaTrader. Again, I put in TP1 and I twin trade it. But I done my analysis that GU at this moment is pulling down. So I trusted the scan. I trusted the scan. I did a little work, a little work. I didn't do a, a big full analysis markup. I just kind of did a quick analysis markup. But it, it's, it's telling me that it's going down. So now I'm, I'm trusting this algorithm that's set up here. Okay, so once I, I identify that it's selling and it's a clean scan, let's just say if we just had this red candle sitting up here and hadn't reached this, that would be considered a clean scan. With it busting through that entry already, I don't consider that a clean scan. All right, now, now you're risking that it's going to get to here without pulling back and hitting a stop loss or whatever it may be. All right, um, I just like, I like everything to be clean and, and move in the direction it needs to move in when it needs to move there. So I entered in when it was right above here. I entered in right above here, set my um, order, and now look what it's doing. It's, it's, it's taking profit. It's taking profit. So again, I'm gonna run through um, the walkthrough again on your phone. So on MetaTrader, you're gonna go ahead and select GBPUSD, click on trade, Right below trade uh, GBPUSD, you want to click on it. In most cases, it'll say market execution. Click on market execution and it opens up a drop down menu. And for the harmonic scanner FIBS for life, we're only using buy, stop, buy stops and sell stops. We're only using buy stops and sell stops. In this case, we're using a sell stop. Our price is our entry, which is our point 23. That's what you will put in that box that says price. Stop loss, again, we're gonna use a stop loss that they give us on a, on a, on the harmonic scanner because it gives you some cushion. It gives you some cushion so you don't get wicked out like I did yesterday, being hard hit and set my own stop loss, All right? So use the stop loss here. Um, and take profit is gonna be whichever level of take profit you want, TP1, TP2, or TP3. All right, is everyone clear on that? Does anybody need to see? Um, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry, Shari, I do have a question. Okay. The entry would be the 1.327 or it would be the 1.32592, okay. This is uh, 1.32592, always, always whatever number is next to the 0.23. Okay, and that's the price that we put into MetaTrader? Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yep. All right, Danette, so you said you want to see a clean scan. Um, let's see if RJPY is... Hey, sis, before you change that, how, yeah. many pips, how many pips, can you measure the pips for that move yeah. all the way down to the last take profit? From here to here what um about, about 40 let's see about 45 right yep about 45 pips amazing i just wanted to uh you know you guys 30 pips a day remember our compound sheet you can literally get this right off the strategy amazing job sis. okay thank you all right danette let me um see if rjpy is still a good setup for you 
Let's look at our news. Let's look at the news. All right, we, we looking good on RJPY, looking at the news. All right. Let's see what it's looking like on trading view real quick. Let's see here. Give me one second, guys. Yep. <laughs> Janice happy we in uh profit over here on GU. That was the one you said doing demo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just doing a quick, just just looking at it. Just doing a quick look at. It. Let's see. And then R J P. Okay, R J P Y. It's pulling up. Give me one second, guys. So this one is in a buy. So you see guys, I took it from the top to the bottom. I took it from the top to the bottom because it's in a buy. Wherever that C is, you're gonna start at the C and take it to the D. Or if you learn different, know when it's in a buy, you're taking it from the top to the bottom. But on a harmonic scanner, just know that you're gonna draw from the C to the tip of the D. And as you can see, your take profit numbers are going up because it's in the buy. Yeah, so this is still a clean scan. This is still a clean scan. So when you set your order to net, you're gonna set all JPY. This is gonna be your point 23. Your, your entry is gonna be your point 23. This is gonna be your TP1. This is your TP2, your TP3. So you're gonna have one number, since you're setting the order, you're gonna have one number running running across the screen in MetaTrader until it activates. When it activates, then it's gonna fluctuate in those red and blue numbers, letting you know that, that your trade is, is activated and it's running through the market. But right now when you enter the trade, it's gonna have one white number um, fluctuating until it gets to your price. Yeah, Mr. Bob. Stop loss on this is 74.83. Oh, oh, nine. Yeah, you can enter this one. You can enter this one. You guys want to put it in your demo? Put it in your demo. Like I told you guys before, I'm in GU, so I I, I trust the scanner. I'm in GU right now, but if you uh, you guys can put this um, live or demo, just make sure you're using proper risk management. Make sure you use that that stop loss with some cushion, definitely on, on these odd pairs too, right? Because uh, if it haven't activated and it moves during London, it might wick you out. So make sure you give yourself that that 50, 40 to 50 pip um, stop loss. And go ahead and take it for these uh, TP1, TP2, TP3. Is this a, um, an, a fresh entry or is this like a market execution? This is going to be an order. So with the harmonic scanner, yep, FIPS for life, we're, we're only setting buy stops or sell stops. Okay. Does um does anyone have any questions why everyone is copying down the numbers? Anyone has any other questions? Okay. 
Can you do a pip count? Isis, are you clear on um is Isis still on the phone? Okay. Um Isis, are you clear on on why I drew the Fibonacci in this way? Yes. I was just trying to see, I was just told different things with with which way to take it. And so I was always struggling with which way to take it. But yeah, it makes sense now. Okay, yeah. So it's it's different with different strategies. Um it could be different. Anybody else have any questions? So I just want to just be clear on that. So just to be clear, like across the board, no matter what strategy you're using, when it's a, a buy, you place, you draw the Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. And when it's a sale, you draw from the bottom from to the top, right? Correct. Yep. And then just uh, also just to help you better understand, I'll see you, wherever the C is, you're going to start at the C and drag it down to the D. Wherever that's at, on this particular... Um, on this particular tool, tool on the harmonics. Right, yeah. okay. Okay, uh, Shari, and this would be a buy stop, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Did okay. Everybody... I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I got one quick question. When you swing trade this, are you still repeating the same steps as far as price? Mm -hmm. And okay, so you have to put everything in twice, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then I have another question too. Mm -hmm. When you're doing, say, for instance, you set TP1. Do you set all of those, all the TPs, or just one at a time? So you can only put in one TP, um, Arcelia. So um, I don't know if this is gonna go over a, a, a couple people's heads, but um, I'm just gonna say it anyway. So um, I, I go for TP one, right? Right. Because I know it's gonna, in, in, in most cases, I'm looking at every scan on here and most of them are gonna hit TP one. So I go for TP one and I twin trade it. So I'm, I'm getting more pips off that okay. secure move, right? Now, if you are watching your trade, you can trail your stop loss. If you see a strong push up to TP2, go ahead and, and trail your stop loss and secure what you have made to TP1. So what, what and then how you just move your stop loss to your TP1 or out? So you're like, gonna move it above your TP1, at least above, your TP1. above it. So okay. right, so it at least has to pass your TP1 so that's something you have to be watching and like that that <laughs> might be a conversation for another day okay um, i just I want to make sure yeah i, I don't want to confuse anyone um yeah that's fine yeah yeah so what i do i just usually you can only put one tp at a time and i go for tp1 okay cool mm -hmm. all righty um does everyone have the numbers copied if you're going to go ahead and put this in your um metatrader Okay, cool. Then that you got it. All righty. Well, I um I hope that that made sense. Um, this will be revisited again. The harmonic scanner will definitely be revisited again. Ninety percent accurate. A lot of people made six figures off the harmonic scanner. Brittany Burrell for sure. I know. Um, and this is her strategy. I love it. Um. This past week, I had four and one, and, and without even even with us focusing on GJ and EU, um, the trades that I did enter, I had four and one, and like I said, one was my fault because <laughs> I was hard headed and set uh, a tighter stop loss than what it gave me, or I would have I would have profited off that too. So, um, I hope you guys got some value. I hope you guys really start touching a harmonic scanner. It's one of the easiest tools, go to tools to earn while you're learning. Um, it takes like uh, maybe four, three to four minutes to, to put it all in your MetaTrader and profit.
So thank you guys for hopping on. Drop some fire in the Telegram chat box um, if you got some value. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Thanks, the rest Shari. Of the great job. Great job. All right. No yes, problem. Great job. Thank you. All right, guys. I I'll talk to you.